Hello everyone. It's only been one year ever since the coronavirus pandemic has raged and now a new pathogen has caused casualties in southern India. This is the Shigella pathogen and there is very few studies regarding this pathogen. So today we are going to promote awareness regarding this pathogen and the disease that it causes known as Shigellosis. So today's video is all about Shigella and we'll be looking at the pathogen itself and how we can take precautions. So in this video we'll be looking at some basic questions. What is Shigella? What is Shigellosis? How is Shigellosis spread? What are the symptoms of Shigellosis and how to avoid getting sick from Shigella bacteria. So let's tackle the first and important question. What is Shigella? Shigella is a genus of bacteria that is gram-negative, facultative anaerobic, non-spore forming, non-motile, rod-shaped and genetically closely related to E. coli. The genus is named after Kiyoshi Shiga, who first discovered the pathogen in 1897. So the term Shigella is referring to the genus of bacteria. So what is the disease that this pathogen causes? That is Shigellosis. Shigellosis is a bacterial infection affecting the intestinal tract. It is caused by the bacterium Shigella. There are four varieties of this bacterium, which are Shigella, Shigella sonae, Shigella boidi, Shigella flexneri, and Shigella dysenteriae. Shigella dysenteriae produces a very powerful toxin that can cause severe damage to the lining of the gut. The bacteria are only found in humans. Anyone can be infected, but children are particularly prone. The bacteria cannot survive for long outside the human body. How is Shigellosis spread? The Shigellosis infection occurs when the bacteria are ingested, which commonly occurs in close person-to-person -person contact. Getting Shigella germs on the hands and then touching their food or mouth. This may happen after touching surfaces contaminated with germs from stool of a sick person, such as toys, bathroom fixtures, changing tables, or diaper pails. Changing the diaper of a sick child or caring for a sick person can also result in Shigellosis infection. Eating food that was prepared by someone who is sick with Shigellosis. Foods that are consumed raw are more likely to be contaminated with Shigella germs. Swallowing recreational water, for example, lake or river water, while swimming or drinking water that is contaminated with stool, aka poop, containing the germ can also cause shigellosis. So how would you recognize if you have contracted shigellosis? People who are sick from the infection that is shigellosis usually start experiencing symptoms one to two days after contact with the germ. Symptoms of shigellosis include diarrhea, usually containing mucus and or blood. You also experience fever as well as stomach pain, but most importantly, you will feel the need to pass stool even when the bowels are empty. So even when your intestines are empty, you would feel the need to pass stool. Note that some people with shigellosis will not have any symptoms. The symptoms that are experienced usually last 
for five to seven days. But some people may experience symptoms anywhere from a few days to four or more weeks. In some cases, it may take several months before bowel habits, like for example how often someone passes stool and the consistency of their stool, are entirely normal again. So, the symptoms are particularly problematic with respect to the excretory system of our body. Now that you know what is the bacteria which causes shigellosis and how it affects the human body, let's look at how to avoid getting sick from shigella bacteria. So these are some steps that we can take in order to safeguard ourselves. Prevention of dysentery caused by shigella relies primarily on measures that prevent spread of the organism within the community and from person to person. These include number one, hand washing with soap before eating or preparing food and after using the bathroom, always wash your hands with soap. Number two, ensuring the availability of safe drinking water. Avoid swallowing water from ponds, lakes, or untreated swimming pools. Number three, safely disposing of human waste. Number four, breastfeeding of infants and young children. Number five, safe handling and processing of food. And the last but not the least, number six, control of flies, which spread most of these kinds of bacteria. So, the Shigella outbreak has the potential to become a deadly one and it's our responsibility as a community and as of humanity in order to counter against it. So, we at Brain Blitz Audios have always been at the forefront in creating awareness about various topics, whether it be the coronavirus pandemic or other major days such as World Heart Day, World Food Day, etc. So, we have a lot of content on our YouTube channel. You can always go and visit www.youtube.com slash C slash Brain Blitz Audios to learn more. So, be safe, stay curious, stay hydrated. Until the next webisode, ta-ta for now.